So here it is, my first hot tub review. This is the Coleman six person inflatable hot tub. It can go up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, like 37, 39, something like that. And it was here it is, you got cup holders. You got, you could turn on and off your bubbles here. You can uh, change the temperature. There's a lock button. There's a, a like a, a filter button. It's fairly simple. The controls move up and down. You can kind of, uh, it has two cup holders there. This thing uh, is a multi-purpose machine here. You got the main tub. We're going to look at it in a second. But this little module over here does all the heating, the filtering, the blowing up of air. It kind of does it all. Um, and uh, it's, it's fairly simple device. It's got those three pipes there. Uh, it even has a fill hole there at some point. This is the top. The top is actually inflatable. You'll see as we take it off here. Uh, my brother's got it set up in his garage. <laughs> We got some retro games. We got a TV there. It's a pretty cool little setup. Um, the hot tub itself is not that big, and you'll see in a second. But uh, just wanted to show you that you could put it in a garage easily. You could put it in your backyard pretty easily. This thing runs anywhere from $500, $600 normally, and you might be able to get it on sale. Um, as far as the main chemicals, it's mostly uh, bromine, and you got the filters there. Uh, my brother bought this one from somebody uh, online, and it came with a lot of these chemicals. Somebody, you know, the test strips, make sure that the pH level is good. Now, um, you know, all this is fine. You know, these are chemicals you might want to consider. There's a, there's a foam remover that somebody recommended that he get, and I have to say it's really unnecessary to get the foam remover. But you definitely want to get the bromine, and you want to make sure the pH level is good. I think those are the main two. You notice little turtles floating in the water here. Those things help uh, absorb any kind of excess chemicals and things and, 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 and whatever else as you're treating your hot tub. And there you go. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? It's got a little foam mat on the bottom with a little texture design. The, uh, you'll see in a moment when I show you the photo, it's, it's not just air. This thing actually has like little beams installed in the actual structure of it. So it actually holds up really well. And uh, this is day five. I have to say something that you can't see in this video. Oh, there's the bubbles. So the bubbles come out from the bottom of the spa. And uh, I have to say, when you use the bubbles, it's just sucking in air from your wherever your hot tub is. So it does cool down the hot tub much quicker. If you want it, just a hot, hot tub, like keep it at 102, 104 degrees, you actually want to probably keep the jets off. The jets will actually reduce the temperature quite quickly. Now, something that they don't tell you when you buy this thing, the biggest downside is how long it takes to heat. It took it it goes up about 2 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit every hour. So if you're starting at like 60 degrees with cold water out of your faucet or even depending where you are, even colder, this thing is going to take a really long time to heat up. So keep that in mind. Now, it's a blast, it's awesome. So my brother did have a couple of holes in his from the previous owner. So what you want to do is you want to get some shoe glue. Here's a couple of the spots there and just it just patches it right up. Now here's the beam construction I was talking about that you can actually sit on top of this hot tub. You can't do that with a lot of other inflatable hot tubs. I was sitting on top of this thing and it was fine. There's the control panel and everything else and the two cup holders that come along. Although you probably want to like put a little side table next to this thing, you know, for drinks or whatever else you got. So there you go. You can see it here. You got the main spot. It does have handles on it and it does have these little clipping locks that I didn't talk about yet. So it is kind of child safe in that like a child could not unclip these locks when it's all when it's all like clipped up, ready to go. Um, I don't think you can move it, though, once it's filled with water. Here's the main control panel. It does have a little lock in the upper left-hand corner. You can turn on and off the bubbles, change the temperature, things like that. It's super easy to use, super user-friendly. Now, here you have four people in the hot tub. And I have to say, this is probably more realistic. It's, it's advertised as a six, but I would say three to four adults max um, in this thing. And you're going to be touching each other in that. Now, uh, and then here you go. It, it all fits within this box, you know, pretty, pretty cool in that regard. You can put it inside, you can put it outside, you know, it, it's fairly flexible. So final review, you know, get ready to pay a lot in heating and your water bill. But other than that, if you just want a cheap, ready to go hot tub, it's great. 
I would say the biggest downside is if you want to go a little hotter, it maxes out at 104. Some people like a little hotter than that. So I think that's going to be the biggest drawback for most people. Uh, but other than that, if you maintain it, you keep it clean, you know, it's actually a good contender, especially considering like a spa is something people buy and then they get kind of like bored of it or whatever. So it might be good to kind of go this route to start. And then if you love it, go with like a nicer model. But this is definitely a good stepping stone to get into the hot tub world. But hey, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.